Hi, it's Lily. Let me share the latest Secure Transport features and improvements with you. This month, we updated several third-party components that were reported in the National Vulnerability Database, including PostgreSQL and DNS Java. Refer to our third-party software and licenses document for the complete list. This update brings several performance improvements. The startup time and configuration reload of the folder monitor service has been sped up by over 70%. Additionally, there is nearly a 50% improvement in the end-user file listing when repository encryption is enabled along with the STFS encryption list decrypted size configuration option. Administrators will be notified with a warning message in the server log when the list operation takes longer than the time interval set in the corresponding server configuration option. By default, the secure transport secret is stored in a local secret file, but starting with this update, it can now be stored externally in a HashiCorp vault. Refer to our administrator guide for detailed information and setup instructions. New controls on the file tracking page allow administrators to select and resubmit all eligible transfers on the current page by first clicking Select All for Resubmit and then Resubmit. The inbound transfers metric can now be calculated and added to manually generated usage reports. To ensure your reports display accurate figures, consult the administrator guide on how and when to activate data collection for each metric. Enterprise clusters with Microsoft SQL Server databases can now be updated with zero downtime. Other improvements in the ZDU functionality include a maintenance mode indicator in the administration tool, as well as documentation updates for clarity and minor bug fixes. This update introduces a new REST API request that can be used to automate subscription polls. We've extended the route templates beta functionality by adding five more steps. Pull from partner, send to partner, character replace, align folding, and line padding. The administration tool now displays a cloud icon to indicate secure transport instances running cloud edition. Thanks for watching. Apply this update using the links in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time!